virgin eyes. Baby, oh. you're fucking blinded. Alright, this is my last cigarette. Oh, I my brain. Oh, God. <laughs> Again. He's so the green one with the hole in it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We can't quote about Dave's mom <laughs> making meatloaf. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, it ain't get, I'm telling you, it's gonna rip. It's gonna rip. I hope you're not a. Oh my god, he's in him. <laughs> now, zippering. <laughs> I'm glad I've got to see it. Yes, yes. I'll turn around all in this area. <laughs> Maybe you eat That's called mammal toes. <laughs> I ain't fucking touching that. Touch it. Touch it. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa. 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 Oh, look, I can't breathe. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> There's big baby Huey. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is my face turned red? Yeah. Bad guy oh in tiny PJs. Let's try it. Bad guy in a little. There we go. Ah, and the ones in it. I feel like I don't have a sausage for this. <laughs> this alone will get all the subs. Yes, exactly. Oh my god, man. What it's gonna get some real questionable subs. But <laughs> this is the MTG edit only fans. <laughs> does he do diapers as well? I do not do diapers. <laughs> 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 Dude, my package is like. Forget about me. Oh, hey, how's it going, everybody? Evil Dave here. Yeah, hey, uh, so this one, this one is for Polky Kenna. Hey, Polky Kenna. She's about four foot 11, weighs 100 pounds, soaking wet. She's like, I'm 105. I'm like, whatever, dude. I couldn't believe I fit into that onesie. It just went <laughs> as I was putting on. That's the only thing the uh, camera did not pick up. Well, I should say the sound. So uh, yeah, that's a fan question of the day. Have you ever worn a onesie? Tell me about that. And uh, I'll juice this up as we go along. But uh, yes, like I was saying, this kind of, this is for you, bud. So uh, oh, I don't even think she has a commander deck. So now she does. Let me get these chaos boxes. We got a bunch of packs here and stuff. So, but uh, yeah, it kind of makes me smile. She's what a good person. Um, here's a person that doesn't make me smile. Hey, shitbird, speed this up. Hey, shipper, pause this for a second. Wow, you, it's a one in five chance of pulling one of those. We'll put that right on top. Scoot Swarm, I'm gonna give one to Kenna and I'm gonna give one to the lucky fan. Speed it back up, shipper. All right, and we're back. Okay, oh man, let's just get this 13. So uh, I normally give the die out. I'm gonna send this one to Kenna because it is a glow in the dark one. And she's like, oh, big box Dave, I want that little die. And I'm like, hey, you know what, Kenna? It's actually Evil Dave, but you're cute. You can call me Dave, that's fine, it's cool. Oh, nat 20. Man, I roll off the board too. All right, here we go. Yeah, we just got back uh, a little while ago from Michigan and uh, we had a great time. And without Tony and Heather from Don't Make This Weird, Check them out. Also, check out Rule of Cool. Hey, Shitbird, it better be in the link in the description. And Polka Kenna. So she has, she has a small channel just like herself. So, uh, yeah, so this, this Scoot Swarm is going to go out to Kenna. And we'll send that Scoot Swarm out to uh, the lucky fan. And we'll juice this up as we go along. I, I don't forget, guys. I don't forget. All right, hang on. Magic's meant to be shared. Yes, we all know that I have that feeling. Oh, man, I, I should have brought a trash bag out, and I didn't. I'm actually out back of uh, what's called the White House here at work. Man, it's looking gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, our card and the land card going out with a fan, as per the norm. Sorry, Kenna, I got to keep the uh, status quo with that one. 
She's like, but I want that. I'm like, sorry, kid. Can't give you everything. No, no, she's cool. Ooh, layer. Disciple of the Drown. Not bad. You get a mythic in And shipwreck sifters. There we go. Okay, nothing in the back there. So starting off with a mythic. Not bad. Not bad. What do I always say about uh, Midnight Run? Let's get in. Meat Hook Massacre and call it a drain. Actually, I would love a uh, an Arlen Pax Hope to come out. That'd be nice. Great card. So underrated. It's yeah, it went down in price. I'm not I'm trying to figure out why. It's like it's such a busted card. Ooh. Okay, Faithful Absence. Not bad. Kenna, starting off good. Ooh, Alyssa. Not bad. And it is foil. Ooh, well, there it is. There's the foily. There you go. That foil's got to go to Kenna because it is. A, uh, a is a rare back is a little stiff but you know what it's it's about 55 56 degrees out oh, I remember my t-shirt i don't care i don't give a good god damn it that is a beautiful art card for this set gorgeous going out with a lucky fan and yeah i inherited bbd's allergies so that's a <laughs> that's my weakness <laughs> allergies so okay kessig Hate that card. All right, Adeline, not bad. Not bad, Kenneth. That's a D set. D set. Ooh, and we got Factor Fiction from um, MH1. Not bad. That is a, that is a list card, Kenneth. And the foily is going out with the lucky fan. And uh, we'll do some shenanigans right now. Look at that. Evil Dave. Save these. There's not going to be a lot of them. I'm telling you that right now. You make them exclusive and they go up in value. <laughs> that's, that's the way the world works. It's called supply and demand, people. I didn't even ask, how is everybody doing today? I hope you're well. Yes, that's right. I said that. And um, just to give everybody a heads up, Mystery Monday, this is the first time you've seen it. It is all about value. Always about monetary value. So anything a dollar more, we're going to bling up on the board. And your Jay's like, I, I hate you. So that's a, that's a thing. Ooh, Haunted Ridge. Nice. About a three to five dollar rip. Actually, no, I think this one's more expensive. It's it's definitely around the five dollar mark for damn sure. Not bad. Contortionist troop. Oh man, have you ever seen a contortionist? Those people are wacky, man. They bend their bodies in certain shapes. Like I was kind of a contortionist when I went inside that onesie. So, like I said, she's she's literally four foot eleven, and uh, she says one hundred five pounds. I don't know where. So uh, maybe she has something that we can't see. All right, but anyway, at any rate. Um, I, I weigh, I weigh 185 and I'm five foot six. Oh, beautiful swamp. Uh, actually, I'm going to give that one to Kenna. So just because she's going to be like, I want the foiling. And yeah, like it, 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 I'll tell you what, I had a scorching case of, uh, <clears throat> caramel penis and visions of ruin and commander card and brutal cather. Not bad. Yeah, wow. Consider too. Wow. That's so bad. That's foil. I want to. It's at least a dollar fifty. So unless it's gone down a price, Twiddler, we'll send these out to you, bud. Uh, Editor Jay doesn't do that anymore. I know Twiddler. But yeah, that thing just went like right up. Like I, I could barely get my ass in there. I'm surprised like it just didn't explode. Uh, <laughs> like it's instantly like combust as soon as I put that sucker on. So, but it was funny. We all had a we all had a good chuckle at it. And that was in the morning too. So I wasn't drunk or anything either. I mean, not that I've ever been drunk in the morning. So, moving on. Yeah, that it was just it was just funny. I was just trying to make everybody laugh, and it worked. Okay, wake the slaughter. And Har <laughs> Harvestride Infiltrator. Harvestide? I don't know. Harvestride? I don't know. Barbara Stride's in? Anyone? All right, two more packs. Two more packs. Come on, man. Me Meat Hook, where you at? Where you at? I would really like to hit Kenner Meat Hook. So, and you know what? Imagine if something big was in... And Juicy was in that uh, that mystery box. He's like, how are you going to give that away to somebody, Solari? I'm going to be like, easy, watch this. Mail, just mail it out. All right, here we go. Oh, come on, man. All right, Slaughter Specialist. Mm. Not what you want to see. Not what you want to see, people. So I'll organize my stuff here in a second. There, uh, there we go. Man, I, lo I do love this set, though. I do. Arlen. I'm feeling Arlen today. Ooh, consider again. That's nice. Nice. That's a, that's a buck or so, like I said. Non-foil version, but definitely, definitely a great common card. Okay, Shady Traveler. 
Ugh, curse of surveillance. And Mask of Gristle Shit is our foil. We did get Gatekeeper of uh, Malakar, and that is... Um, that's from OG Zendikar or World Wake. I think it is Zendikar, though, if my memory serves me correct. All right, guys, stand by while I clean this mess up. And we're back. Okay, so, um, yeah, we so we linked up. Well, we got down there, and we linked up with uh, Tony Heather from Don't Make This Weird. Uh, Kenna was there. She came over and gave me a blister and hug. I'm like, oh, hello, Kenna. Nice to meet you. And she's like, how big was this? I'm like... Can I, I keep telling you it's Evil Dave. I keep telling you that. Okay. Ah, uh, Calamity Bearer. Oh, man. That, that, that bend on that card is a Calamity. You know what? Kenna, you don't want that. Trust me. All right. We got a draft booster of Kamagawa, draft of Crimson Vow, and Zendikar Rising. So, I mean, those things are hit and miss, those MJ Holdings type products. But you never know. You never know. Yeah, and uh, so Matt and Joey uh, met up with us. Uh, we actually ripped some magic. It was it was pretty cool. And I pulled out one of my precon decks. I have two precon decks molded after Moss's deck decks. I'm like, you need to do these again. And he used it. He won. Roland Vortex, very good card. I think it's around the dollar or two mark, for sure. Sure. Uh, land going out. You guys don't want this crap. <laughs> so uh, yeah, he's like, he was playing. He goes, oh yeah, I I, I remember this. I go, yeah, yeah, and it was it was like a white life game deck. It was, uh, and he won with it. He, he put the, he put the smack down. I, I had Matt using my goblin deck, and huh, huh, put that down there. So <laughs> paying homage to Joey, and uh, Matt was wiping his ass with everybody, and you know, and Joe came in like midstream. Dream Shackle Geist is absolute garbage, and ooh, there you go, Ken. I'll sign that one for you. She's a wolf deck, and the land's going out with a lucky fan. And, uh, yeah, he just, uh, he just annihilated with it. It was, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. We had a great time. Uh, we went out, got some, uh, eats and some, uh, some drinky poos after. And that was, uh, that was always fun. So, and, uh, Tony gave like a little speech and it really touched Joe and, uh, yeah, in all the wrong places. No, I'm joking. No, 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 that didn't happen. It's, no, Joe, Joe was really taken aback by it. And uh, oh wow, come on, faces, because uh, uh, it's on. I believe it's it's got to be around the dollar mark, maybe two. So not bad, not bad for it. Yeah, uncommon. Yeah, Titan Core. Nothing to see here. We'll put that with the with the trash. So all right, guys, stand by, and I'll finish up the story. And we're back. Okay, yeah, so. So uh, it was either Veronica, because Matt's wife came as well, uh, or or Matt pulled out the Evolving Wilds that Joe cut for me in the first gift I ever sent him. And he signed it and sent that back to me. And Joe, like Joe, Joe, like Clockwork, read it and went, it was like, oh, Evolving Wilds. Oh, it looks like we get something good here. It's, is that MH2? No, it is MH2. Kenna, look at that. Yeah, buddy. That is a set booster. Look at the bend on this. I don't even know what it is. Ugh, clear Reaper. Okay, so, no, we'll take MH2 all day long. It looks like we got a Masters pack again. Look at that. Kenna getting lucky with the Masters pack. AFR, who cares? Sticky stuff. Yep, that just happened. All right, let's, uh, actually, you know what? We're going to put this one in the middle because it's that, that's it said it's that bad. All right, so the, the, the bent <laughs> Valkyrie Harbinger and Cleveland Reaper. We're just going to just give them a little bit of love. Just a little bit. I, I promise. No, it won't be that bad. No, no, no. It's just like... No. It, <laughs> just a flesh wound. <laughs> what are you going to do? Bleed on me? Oh, all right. So, yeah, I know. But Joe, Joey grabbed the Evolved Wilds. Let me see that card. All right. Sacrifice the tap. Sacrifice the wrong wilds. And he, that card is busted. You know, he did his normal thing. Dude, it was... <laughs> it just, <it's, laughs> Oh man, speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. They'll put that in the cool guy pile. Might actually be a buck because it's a modular card. So, AFR, man. AFR. They just had a, a, a fire sale um, at the collector store. Ooh, Cave of the Frost Giant. One of the cheaper lands you can get. But, wow, Book of Vile Darkness. I have not pulled a lot of these. It is a mythic. It's not the best mythic, but it is good. It is de a decent mythic. So, foil going out. So, starting off. Decent, actually, in AFR. So, like to see old Knobbone come out. So, Kenna pulled one of those while I was there too. So, I bought her. I bought her a uh, 
it was a list, uh, old novel, a list card, uh, which we call it, uh, I can't think of the name of it, freaking New Phyrexia bundle, and she pulled that, uh, she pulled out Norn, and she, uh, Elish Norn, and, uh, also Frog, uh, Frog Behemoth, Frog Behemoth, excuse me, and Dragon Disciple going out with a lucky fan. So, and yeah, she, uh, she did very well. What was the last card she pulled? Oh yeah, uh, Vorinclex, uh, Borderless. It was gross. She had over $100 worth of stuff pulled. All right, guys, stand by. Eh, you know what? I'm just going to grip it, rip it. Grip it and rip it, baby, because it's dirty. It's dirty. This set is dirty. I'm not complaining about that box, though. Masters 25 and uh, MH2. Uh, hold on. Stupid ass pack, man. Pretty, pretty filthy to get out of one of those boxes. So, um, no, we'll give Kenna all the foils. I usually give all these out, guys. I, I have to keep them with her. Okay, welcome a vampire foil. Not bad. At least two dollars, pro probably three, because it is foil. All right, let's see what else we got. Here. Thunder and Nightmare, not bad. Headless Rider, hmm, kind of slowing down there. Oh, search for the Count's Castle. That's BS. Dorothy, they, they. Lusty Western, and that's full art foil or borderless foil. And Graf Reaver, oh, that pack sucked ass. That pack sucked ass. Oh my god. All right, maybe we can shake it up with this. Hopefully he comes out. Hey, look, what's that word right there? Oh, shoot. I saw that word. Oh, look at that. Dude, that, that was open, man. Look at that. I did not do that. Huh. Very strange. Very strange indeed. Okay, out of all the Masters packs, this is probably not the best one. That's just me. Cultivate, not a bad uh, uh, common card. Kindle, good stuff. Relentless Rats, good commons. Okay, Twisted Image. Twisted Sister. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a Sister Christian. Ooh, Fetid Heath. Not bad. Uh, I want to say... <sighs> some, for some reason, $8 is coming to my head, but I don't think it's that. I don't think it's that. All right, Colossal Dreadmaw going out, and I think that's actually worth a little something with a lucky fan. All right. MH2, my favorite set of all time. It really is. This set is just bonkers. Hey, there's a mosquito out here. Get off me, dog. Get out of here. See that? I caught him out of midair. Crushed him. So, so let's I'm a ninja. All right, anyway, moving on. I'm a lunchbox shaped ninja, but a ninja nonetheless. All right, here we go. Wow, lots of uncommons here. It's not bad. Oh, Kenna! That's like a $20 Misty Rainforest. Any between 18 and 20. Boom, baby. And presence in the back. Not bad. At least uh, I want to say it's around the dollar mark. And you did get a, uh, a foily retro. Not worth a ton. And since the pack was so good, we're going to give that out with a lucky fan. All right. Stand by while I clean up this awesomeness. Stand by. And we're back. Okay. Scoot Swarm right on top. Yeah, we'll open up the Masters 25 pack. Why not? That came. I bought those at, it was like Walgreens or CVS or whatever. And uh, I saw Joey when he opened up. And uh, he only got one uh, Masters packet of like five of them. I, I, I think I bought eight or nine. I, I forget. Man, Cultivate showing up again, man. Not bad. Ooh, counter spell. It's probably around a dollar mark. Well, I just hacked it, so a little less. Relentless Rats. All right, Spike Shot Goblin. Okay, Ash Barons. Sure. Murder of Crows. Oh, and Grenzo. Screw you, dude. And we got a foil Wild Heart Invo and Invoker. Excuse me. I almost said Invoker. So, um, yeah, so is, here's a question for you. Has anybody ever, well, for the guys, have you ever wore your girlfriend or your wife's panties? Uh, BBD did that once, jerk, and I uh, started singing Katy Perry to her. She was having a rough day, and uh, he just came downstairs and just that, bulging all, and uh, yeah, made her smile, I guess. Ooh, Pell Collector, there you go, Kenna. Kenna's wanted, but I think Kenna wants that for an actual deck. She has that on uh, on Arena. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Okay, getting back into it. Uh, Daryl's Beyond Death. I've absolutely struck out on this box so far. I'm like halfway through it. So hopefully there's some good stuff in here. Uh, I, lands are going out with uh, the Lucky Fan. Idyllic friggin' Tudor. Not bad, Kenna. <laughs> Not bad at all. Rise to Glory. We just did that in that pack. So, and I'll just quickly go through this stuff. Then I'm going to take a quick break. Uh, back is being a little painful today. And I'm, I'm hunched over on this table. 
So it's a little tiny table when uh, Matt did the mystery money that we brought. He's like, oh man, this, this table's teeny. All right, whoa, Stratus, but a buck or two. Daxos, blessed by the sun. Uh, that is the, uh, oh, forget it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, constellation uh, to a showcase, but it's all constellations and shit. Okay, not too too bad. That I, that idea of food is nice. I like that. Not not too bad. Okay, Seder. Okay, nice little Landy. Oh, you got a foil in the front. Captivating unicorn. Ah, uh, mattress. Oracle of half truths. I play against that card. Makes me want to kick it in the friggin' groin. Ooh, Elsa's Life Bounty. Not bad. I want to say those are still hovering around the dollar mark. So, could be wrong. Might not be wrong. We shall see. All right. In return to nature. Okay, nothing to see here. All right, guys. Stand by. And we're back. Okay, let's see here. We got for Kenna's Commander deck. It is upside down. Kenna, I usually give these away. But you're not missing much. Okay, so Kenna... I have to give that away. Veto is about $2.50. Maybe approaching the three mark. So, actually, I think he's closer to three, if not three. So, ooh, that's chipped. I didn't even do that. I, like, I really did not do that. Okay, let's see what we got for your, your commander, Nick. Okay, Linhart, not bad. Uh, wow, what year is that? 2021. So, it is... Pro I want to say that is actually Midnight Hunt. Could be. Oh, no, Midnight Hunt was, uh... No, Midnight Hunt was 2021. Yeah, that cracked. I don't, I'm not sure how that happened. T'was not me, Kenna. T'was not me. Here's a bug right there. Get out of here, you. All right. Getting right into Dom Remastered. We drafted this there. Matt did win. Editor... <laughs> Editor Jay was the only person that beat me, and my deck sucked ass. But it's all how you pilot it. So, even... I, I just had shitty cards to draw from. Matt did a he did uh, mostly red, but it was it was Rakdos, but he did mostly splash and black. Okay, ooh, come on, not bad. Fist of Crossa, that is a decent hit right there. Renewed Faith, Forest, and Elephant Token in the back. Those two are going out with the lucky fan. There you have it. Fans got it so good. Patrons got it better. So yeah, I might I just might as well just dig up BBD's bones and just piss on them right now. So, I'm just stealing all this shit. By the way, that's one of the cards I drafted. Actually, I had three of them. Just kept <laughs> kept popping them in and out. It was, it was pissing people off. Ice Manipulator. Dread Return. And, oh, okay, Jarrell. Not bad. Jarrell, uh, actually, it's under Buck. I take that back. That, that card is garbage. And a Retro Icy. That might be around the dollar mark. Going out with a lucky fan. Along with that beautiful forest. Not too shabby. Yeah, Dr uh, actually, I pulled... An entire pack of uh, OG Jumpstart. And like when I say miscut, I'm talking you can see the other card on the bottom of it. The whole pack was miscut. Never played it, just tucked it away. I guess there's a big market for that. I, I don't know. I don't know. I was like, oh, why couldn't you be an Elves deck that was miscut like that? So I'd be pissed and happy at the same time. Okay, Chainer's Edict. Mm, illusion and Reality. And Gamble, okay. Gamble's not, that's a legit card. That's about, what, I want to say that's around $5. Maybe that version might be a little less. I'm not sure. Chittering Squirrel. All right, stand by. We only got two packs left. This went by really quick. And we're back. Okay. Here we go. Add the sticky stuff. This came out of a blister pack. It's kind of good luck. Um, I hope you pull a neon foil. That would be uh, uh, the bomb. So, uh, uh, Joey Moss, uh, I sent, this was one of 36 packs I sent him in his, uh, birthday box. Uh, his booster box version of it. And he pulled out a blue neon foil. And that, that straight up came from Walmart. So, all right, here we go. Come on, man. Show us something good here. That is not foil. That one is. Uh, soul transfer. Okay. That's something, I guess. Okay, Kami. Mm. Kazi. March of Reckless Joy, not a bad card, actually. That's borderless. Cloud Steel Karen, I think it's still up there in value. Okay, Ogre Head. <laughs> oh my god, man. That was about as good as Editor J. <laughs> All 
Just saying. Okay, Village Rights. Uh, by the way, Kyle Dime, if you didn't notice, and this is a collector booster. So come on, last pack. Let's let's slow play it a little bit. Okay, Serpent's Soul Jar. Not bad. That's a commander card. Take that. Not a bad card to get in that slot. All right, you're a rare. Ugh, Blood in the Snow, but man, that art is so freaking cool. That's borderless. Another rare. Okay, Varagoth. Come on, baby. Show us some love. Show Kenneth some love. Okay, Uncommon. Okay, Agar. Oh, not bad, Kenna. Elrond's Epiphany is a decent hit. That's borderless, kid. Not bad. Not bad. All right, what do we got in the back? We got Uncommon. Okay. What is it? Is it? Last one's a rare. Oh, wow. That is a very nice hit. See that? See that, man? Freaking mosquitoes are already out. World Tree Borderless Foil, the most expensive version of this you can get. Not too shabby. Kenna, listen. Much love, kid. Much love. Uh, you guys made my uh, experience up there very enjoyable. Had a great time with Matt and Joey and, of course, Heather and Tony. You guys are amazing. Till next time, deuces. Much love. Oh, and one more thing. You all better check out Rule of Cool and sub to it because it, it, the amount of subs that we uh, put into it, we get extra boosters. I actually play D&D &D online once, maybe twice a month. So, uh, yeah, pump up the sub volume for us, will you? Thanks. Deuces. <laughs> Stretch it, Dave. <laughs> oh God, yeah. All right, right there. Stop uh, <laughs> this. is the MTG editor does, only fans. <laughs> does he do diapers as well? I do not do diapers. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a little kid just like puppies. Puppies. <laughs> 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 Fucking take this thing off. Yeah, wow. Yeah. You got it. Here. Hey, give, give me that knife. No. You got okay. it. Oh. Well, oh, thank you. Kenna, if you like baggy PJs before, oh, yeah. you're really oh. going to like these ones. There you go. I, gotta, I gotta breathe. Don't forget to breathe. Breathe. Ooh, don't forget to breathe. <laughs> he said breathe. Uh, He's a big dumb animal, folks. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs>